Well, I, I think that we, we laid out in our scenarios the real challenges to that. Uh, if we look back at the work that we were doing um, a decade ago, you could see pathways that were very plausible uh, towards that kind of outlook. Uh, and those have become less plausible because over time, the kind of policy and regulatory developments that need to take place uh, haven't taken place. We remember how disappointed people were with what happened in Copenhagen just in uh, a few years ago, 2009. Uh, and so uh, uh, the, um, those developments uh, um, mean that the timing is a concern as you look forward. But both of our uh, outlooks, if you're able to look at them uh, in detail, uh, do um, put forward an understanding that what is really, really critical can be achieved, which is a world with net zero emissions. Uh, in fact, I'd take it further than that or broader than that, a world that is um, prosperous for everyone with a spreading of prosperity from the minority population of the world to the majority population of the world and with net zero emissions. Uh, now, in our outlooks, that looks socially, politically and technically feasible uh, over the course of this century. Clearly, the more quickly that that is achieved, the closer to any particular um, temperature limit that you can approach.